what's going on? Just pulled up to the barbecue slash the brewery now. Um, yeah, just sold some six packs. Getting ready, gonna go check the inventory for today. We had a huge rainstorm come through. There's some, a uh, lot, of, lot of hail. So it was pretty brutal for about 10 minutes, but looks like it's clearing up now, but with it brought some cool 50 degree weather. So I'm super stoked about that. Um, you know, colder weather, people usually gravitate towards the tamave. So looking forward to selling, selling quite a few of those today. But here, everything's inside. I think the coziness uh, is, is kind of alluring. So we end up like doing okay on rainy days. I'm, I'm always like super, super cautiously pessimistic about sales on rainy days but so far it's been it's been pretty decent so hopefully we have a good day it's a friday fridays have been the busiest days so we'll see how it goes and uh yeah sell some beer uh cool so it is cool outside it said uh front just blew through so let's do something with some cans all right it's colder outside of front blew through so let's do something highlighting the sweatshirt um, we're gonna use some cans. I think of an idea and then uh, I'll stitch in some of the actual content that I made. I'm going to do something that has to do with, uh, I don't know, pushing the cans to the sleeve or something like that. This is all goofy and weird, but you know, you put some content out for the people and then they like it and then they come in hopefully, but mostly for my pure uh, self-indulgent entertainment. So these are the first couple of attempts trying to get an idea of what it would look like on camera. Push some beers through the sleeves, loaded up my sweatshirt here with too many beers and it was just a little awkward. So I decided to do it with just a couple of beers in the sleeves at the end of the bar. And this is the final cut right here. And you can check it out, the full video on my TikTok channel. So this is my process for washing glasses. I start by getting a cleaning solution made up, a hot water rinse bucket, and a sanitizer solution for the glasses. I set up my makeshift washing station and grab a bus tub to collect the dirty glasses. Uh, this process takes quite a while since I wash each glass by hand, but it's the only way to make sure that they're super beer clean on the inside. Uh, so I wash, rinse, and sanitize each of these glasses and allow them to dry on the drying rack. Um, foam falls down right here, which is the joys of YouTubing. And yeah, this process usually takes about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how many glasses, so it's a nice little, nice little amount of work before I open up. Pretty gross. I will see what sales look like today. All right, this is me canning up some six packs. I'm catching up on, uh, well, inventory so that I have enough to sell during service. I usually do this a little bit earlier in the day, but since I needed just a few six packs, uh, this was only gonna take about an hour or so. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in this process, go check out my uh, canning beer in a small brewery video on this channel. It details the whole process uh, much more in depth than this time lapse. And this is me struggling to get the uh, paper through the labeler, which is always fun. No editing here, just gonna show you the real frustrations of uh, canning on a tiny little scale. But yeah, this is me labeling the cans, just rolls through this label applicator, and then it's uh, pretty satisfying watching this in uh, 10x speed, but doing it gets a little frustrating when you uh, run into hiccups. But anyways, it's me labeling, and then I'll be putting the six pack Back tech holders on top.
All right, time to take a gravity reading. So we've got the 22 degree Tamave here. This is the stout version of the 13. We're gonna degas it after taking a sample from the fermentation vessel and then dump it into our um, sample cylinder and then put our hydrometer in and top it off just so we can get a clear reading and see what we got. That was a big boy too. So reading from the bottom of that meniscus looks like it's right at 1030. So got a little bit of ways to go for this 9% stout version of our 13 degree tamave. Sanitize these bad boys. All right, so we've got four beers, technically three of them I brew here in house. 10 degree pale lager, that's the lightest of the offerings, so it's like a, a light 4% easy drinking Pilsner. The 12 degree pale lager is a premium Czech Pilsner, so it's gonna be a little bit more malt forward, a little bit more hop forward. And the 13 degree tamave is a dark lager. Um, then we have a, a collaboration that we did with a, another brewery in, in Texas, Adam Taylor, we call Texas Beer Company, and that's going to be similar to the 12 degree pale lager, but with a different hop. Uh, all of the beers that I make in-house are brewed with Czech Saz hops. The naming system is, is pretty traditional Czech way of naming beers. The numbers are in relation to the starting sugar content of the work. So when you brew beer, you extract sugar from grain and then you measure that sugar density. Uh, so generally speaking, the higher the number, the, the stronger the beer, the more potential alcohol that could be created. So you've got a scale, 10 on the lower end of the scale. So this is a light, pale in color lager. So light little uh, Pilsner, medium, 13 degree tamave. Tamave means dark, so medium dark lager. Um, yeah, so got everything set up. Candles lit, stickers out, we're good to go. Almost forgot the most important part. Spinning some check vinyl. Gotta find something sports or easy watching. Ooh. Formula Un. Just a little behind the bar action. Got my shelf up here. A little schlebo. It is currently. Let me see, what is it? 101, we are officially live and open. Fucking packed. Ooh. Hour and 15 in. Nobody yet. Bro, that just turned 216. I'm filming YouTube today, so. Oh, yeah? No, 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 no. It's oh, all. Okay. I'm just doing a 
B-roll. Yeah, basically. Vintage lighting. Yeah, vintage, old, yellow lights. Perfect. Two days of that and two it's days of sleep. Five days of fucking listening to that Yeah, okay. Two twelves. Two twelves. Right. That's my hesitation with doing someone's like Hello, baby. Like, Hello. 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 Hello.
room for improvement for sure. And I gotta get the word out uh, better than I have been, but it's every day I'm seeing new people come in, so that's really awesome. But on a cold, you know, cold, chilly Texas night, and it rained the majority of the day, I think it was pretty good, decent. So cheers to that, and then I will show kind of like the rest of closing up, and that's it, and I'll get out of here. But cheers, voiceover coming at you. All right, so I didn't capture too much video of the closing process, but shut off the light, turn the TV off, shut off the backlights, and then shut off the breaker that turns the open signs on. And then I can grab my little to-go can for the house and jump in the car, start her up, and get out of here. We'll be back tomorrow for another day. Thanks for watching, y'all. Cheers. Nazdrebi. Bye.